Hey guys, Ryan here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about what I think are the two best secondaries in Warzone right now. The first gun I'm going to talk about is going to be the Diamati, and then the second one is going to be the Amp. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, you don't have to like, you don't have to subscribe. I just want to say thank you for watching, and let's get into it. So in the background right now, this is going to be the build for the Diamati, and this is my preferred secondary for Rebirth. The Diamati is outright one of the best close range guns in the entire game right now, never mind just for a pistol or a secondary. Because of the insane headshot multiplier, all you have to do is really just hit one or two headshots in a gunfight and you will kill with an insanely quick time to kill. But not only that, it has some of the best mobility stats in the entire game and this is going to set it apart from so many SMGs. While an SMG can technically kill quicker than the Diamati, the Diamati has a much much faster sprint to fire time, ADS time, and most likely you're just going to be able to have a faster strafe speed in 90% of scenarios. This thing is insanely mobile, so if you use that mobility to your advantage and you are able to, as I said before, just hit one or two headshots, you're going to find yourself beating even the best SMGs in the game up close. For me, being able to instantly get tempered or restock or high alert right off the bat is insanely useful on Rebirth or Caldera where you're oftentimes only going to be able to get one loadout or you're coming back from the Gulag or something like that. Especially on Rebirth where I find you're really only able to get one loadout, having this AK and Diamati as an example class has been insanely useful for solos. The Diamati is more than good enough to kill almost anyone in a 1v1 and having something like the Cold War AK, the XM4, or even like the Bren, you know, a long range AR that has a little more damage than something like the Automaton or Cooper, this is a really, really dangerous class. Even if you wanted to run a sniper with the Diamati, you could do it. However, there is competition with the Diamati, and that's going to be the AMP. And this is where this video is going to get a little interesting. So the build for the AMP is currently in the background. And for some people, this is going to be their preferred option. The Diamati is a burst weapon, and that automatically is going to make it unenjoyable for a certain amount of people. The AMP is automatic, and it will kill quicker if you're only hitting shots to the chest or the body. Where the Diamati has an advantage is going to be in hitting one or two headshots. If you're able to hit one or two headshots with the Diamati, you're going to have a much, much quicker time to kill. And that is the thing. The Diamati is much more rewarding for maybe I'd say higher skilled players. And the amp's going to be a little easier to use for quote unquote lower skilled players. I don't think those are the correct terms to use because that I don't think that perfectly encapsulates what I'm trying to say. It's just more if you know you have good recoil control or you have good aim and that is a strength of yours, then you're probably going to have more success with the Diamati. However, if you know you're someone who doesn't necessarily have the best aim, but you're kind of a smart player and have better positioning, then the ant might be better overall for you. The other thing is they're kind of equal mobility wise, but I have found for some reason, and I think this might just be placebo, the hipfire on the Diamati feels a little bit more consistent. And this really doesn't make sense to me because it is a burst gun, but I oftentimes find myself just feeling like I'm melting kids with hip fire with the Diamati, and I don't get that same feeling with the amp. The amp feels a little more consistent and kind of like a little mini SMG in your back pocket, and I think that's where the kind of distinction comes in. When the Diamati is used correctly, it is a melt machine. The amp, on the other hand, is a pretty just consistent overall good gun to use. I really, really enjoy both, but I think people kind of need to see what fits their playstyle and what fits them best. But there's also a second part to this. What map do you primarily play? Some people are only Rebirth players, and some people really only play Caldera. I do find that the amp is a little more consistent on Caldera. The Diamati really can be negatively affected by that extra 50 health points that you have on Caldera, because that means you may have to hit one or two more bursts with your Diamati, and that can be a huge issue. As long as though you are still hitting headshots, as long as you are using the gun correctly, and kind of as I talked about before, you're still going to be rewarded for using the Diamati. Don't get me wrong. It's just that the amp feels a little bit more consistent on Caldera, and the Diamati definitely feels a lot better on Rebirth. 
So for me, I would recommend the Diamati more for Rebirth and I'd recommend the Amp for Caldera. So now lastly, I'm going to talk about a surprise third option that really isn't too viable. This build only has 18 bullets, so you can really only use it in solos, and even then it's going to be tough to use. But if you can get used to this gun, the time to kill is outrageous. I'm not even kidding. It competes with the MP40, the Type 100, and the Owen gun just straight up in terms of raw time to kill. As I said before, it's really not that viable, and even if you were to use it in solos, that doesn't mean you can control the gun, that doesn't mean you're going to enjoy it. You really have to use it between 0 and 10 meters, and it's just one of those guns that it's really situational. However, if you're someone who plays predominantly solo, and you only have Vanguard guns leveled up, then I think this might be the best option. The other really good option to do is to not worry about using any full auto pistol, and maybe just use something like the rat built out with kind of like a single fire build that can be kind of tough to use for a lot of people but the time to kills are competitive the mobility is going to be amazing and i'm sure you can definitely make it work but for the most part i would really really recommend giving this diamati a try as the first option and if you aren't feeling that give the amp a try and let me know what you think about both of them because I only talked about three guns in total, I'm going to keep this video a little shorter. So I just want to say thank you for watching this video. Thank you for all of the support recently. And we are getting closer and closer to that 1,000 subscribers. And I just want to say thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been Ryan. Peace.